Hi guys, it's Madison at Gold Biotechnology. Today we're going to be going over how to load a DNA agarose gel using our DNA ladders. If you guys want to check it out, then let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be showing you guys how I load a gel using our DNA ladders. I used our Agros LE to make the gels that I use today. The great thing about this gel is that it is versatile and that it can be used to separate nucleic acid but also in protein electrophoresis. Our ladders come ready to use. There's no diluting or loading dye necessary. Now I'll start loading the ladders into the gels. Normally the ladder would go in the first, middle, or last lanes in the gel. First I'll be loading our 50 base pair ladder into the first well. I am dominantly right handed so I usually use that hand to depress the plunger of the pipette, while my left hand is used to stabilize the process. My left elbow or wrist is touching the bench or the gel rig to anchor me and keep my hands stable. Using my left hand as a stabilization tool will help me not to pierce through the gel with the pipette tip. Now I'm loading our 100 and 100 plus ladders into the gel. Only 5 microliters of each ladder is necessary to load into each of the wells. Using the same technique but in a separate gel, I will be loading a 1kb, a 1kb plus, and our Versa ladder into a gel. Our Versa ladder is unique in that it has bands of varying sizes all the way from 100 base pairs up to 10,000 base pairs. I ran the gel until the loading die was about three quarters away from the end of the gel. This is a time lapse video showing the ladders running down the gel. Here are the final images we took under UV light. The fragment sizes are labeled so you can decide which ladder will best suit your project. That wraps up our video today and I will link the ladders down below in the description box for you guys. Comment any videos you guys would like to see. Thanks for watching!